So I just use one piece of tape and I think that's the best way to do it. So I don't pre-tear endotracheal tube tape, I just have it hanging like this. You should make a tab on each end of the tape though, so it'll be easy to pull, the, pull it off at the end of the operation. So I'll just come over like this, okay, and stick it on. The, the number one thing is to, to make sure that you're taping it as close to the face as possible. You don't want to come up and tape it up here because then it can move and come out. Okay, so I get as close to the uh, face as I can, okay. Okay, and then I wrap it around twice. You try to not tape the lip um, to cause damage to the lip. And then that's all, this is all you really need to do. And then you just, when you pull it, you make a tab on this side as well. So when it's time to take this endotracheal tube off, this, this, extubate this patient, you can pull the tape off really easily. What I'm just really trying to demonstrate is that it's secured close to the lips, close to the face, so it's not gonna move anywhere. Now if someone's got a big sweaty beard, or a big sweat face, or whatever, to where this tape is not gonna stick, we need to find a way to get our tape to stick to the patient's face. And that's where this comes in. We can use something called Mastisol, okay? So I'm gonna open this up. I'm not gonna actually put Mastisol on this simulator because I don't wanna clean it off. But really what you do to use this is you just break this seal, just squeeze in and break it, and then you would just, you would be able to apply it to where the, t the tape is gonna go. And it's gonna be wet, and then I would apply it on this other side here. And then how this works is you just have to fan it dry, because it has to dry before it works. But once it's dry, it'll be incredibly sticky on the patient's face, okay? to where when you go to re-tape it, your tape will now stick to the patient's face. Okay. Trick tie. Trick tie. So what you're going to do is you're gonna leave yourself some room on this side and wrap it around the tracheal endotracheal tube and tie it. Now for this part, you wanna make it tight, but not too tight that you close off the endotracheal tube. And then you wrap it around the face, but this time you don't wanna make it tight so that you don't cause pressure injury. And then you tie it over here. And it shouldn't move. Excellent. Now we can go prone or sit and it uh, doesn't matter if they have a Santa Claus wet beard. Uh, this tube's not going anywhere.